Hi, and welcome to Visual Art Photography. I'm Ray Scott. Bicycles, for me, are beautiful machines. And if you've been following me on this channel, you know that I also like older things. Well, the idea of combining bicycles with old, in other words, old bicycles, has been something that's been driving me over the years. I love old bicycles, but it's more than just finding one and then taking a shot. Now, bicycles are everywhere. They're in your neighborhood. They're there when you travel. They're all over the planet. So there's lots of opportunities to take some really interesting photos of bicycles. But there are different ways to get the most out of the experience. On the show today, it's about different ways to take really interesting shots of bicycles. Your questions and comments can be addressed down below. Now let's get going and see what we can do with old bicycles. So when we're out there looking for bikes, we're going to be thinking about five different things all at the same time, all right? So they are presentation, environment, isolation, treatment, and angles. In the first one we're looking at here, we're looking at presentation. What often happens is people have an old bike and they feel like presenting it to the public. They want people to walk by and look at it. The bicycle isn't necessarily functioning anymore. What they've done usually is they've painted it uh, some nice colors or, or something like that. So this is what you're looking at here is presentation. You're also looking a little bit at environment because you can see the environment that it's in. And you're definitely looking at a treatment because what I did here was I added a glow to this bicycle to give it a little bit of a surreal effect. Presentation. Again, presentation. These are people that want you to admire the bike and take a nice look at it. And it's beautiful. And you see the environment here as well as the presentation, but they've painted it all one color, including, look, the tires and the, the rims, everything presentation again, a little bit of the environment, and definitely treatment, as again, I've given this a little bit of a glow to add a little bit of a surreal effect. Now again, this one incorporates a lot of the different, the five different tips. We have presentation for sure. They've painted this bike yellow, and they have flowers as well, more presentation. But now we have the environment that kicks in too because you see exactly where the bike is. You see the tree and the road and everything is sort of playing together. But this is where you have to play with it. You have to move around the subject. And another tip, incorporate angles. This is a different angle. It's a very low angle and it's shooting up at the bike and shooting up at the tree. So presentation, environment, and angles come into play in this particular shot. Presentation again. You see the environment, it's on somebody's porch, balcony, that kind of thing. No treatment here. Presentation again, this bike is completely red. They've put it up against the, the side of the house. And what I've done here is there are some black eyed Susans in the front and I've incorporated them. They are a little bit out of focus. They're in the foreground, so they're not taking away from the main subject, but it offers a little bit of relief. It offers a little bit of a lead in as well. And it's just another element for your eye to go to, but you have presentation. You definitely have the environment and you have an angle. As we move along, we come to a tip that we haven't used before, and that is isolation. As we start to move in, you, as I mentioned off the top of the show, you don't have to just, you know, take a, a picture, a snapshot of a bike. You can, there are many different ways to do it. And one of the ways is to move in closer like this or like this, as you move in and you isolate. This one also incorporates another one of our tips, and that is treatment, as I gave this a little bit of a treatment uh, with some software. And a little bit of the angle comes into play. As I'm not standing up, I got down to the level of that and shot it. Isolation, again, a beat up old seat on this old 
bicycle. And it shows the wear, it shows the rust, it shows the age, and that's one way of doing it. To isolate and to get in there and really drill it down. Again here, isolation of the gears and the chain. And treatment comes to mind too, a little bit, because I gave that a little bit of a treatment just to bring a little bit more color into it. But you can see the grit, look at the grit. Isolation again, moving in closer. Who says you always have to shoot the whole bike? Who says you have to shoot the whole tire? Just a little bit of, the t of this tire, which happens to be flat. Um, and I also incorporated some treatment as I gave it a bit of a painterly effect. These types of things are totally optional, of course. More in the way of treatments. Just to give it a little bit more pop. And again, it gives a certain feel to these old machines. So there are some tips on what to look for with old bicycles. I hope it works for you. Give it a try. Until next time, I'm Ray Scott reminding you, it's not what you see, it's how you see it. And I'll see you soon.